Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Nitro. I am Isaac, a.k.a. Omega. Welcome to the broadcast. There you see the new VWF champion, Aerith Gainsborough. But first, let's kick off the show by taking you to the back. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the sold out VWF Arena for VWF Monday Nitro. And I put the uh, emphasis on Monday in that phrase. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Thank you for joining us for tonight's action. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get things started off with a bang. There you see Ray Hino, accompanied by fellow Senshi member Makoto Kaino. And Ray Hino's got a big test tonight to kick off this spectacular show, ladies and gentlemen, because she is taking on a woman making her VWF debut. A woman who is a former champion. Ray Hino, though, no stranger to success. So she'll be ready for this woman. And there you see her coming down. It is X-23, former EWE Siren champion. Ladies and gentlemen, X-23 made her big return at the third annual Rose Knight Diva Invitational, which you can, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, find at CAW Underground. At the third annual Rose Knight Diva Invitational, she returned to help Chris Knight, the orchestrator of the event, as he took on the Cobra Elite, which was Cobra Commander and the Baroness. X-23 and Chris Knight were successful in defeating the Cobra Elite although by count out. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, X-23 will be competing in XWD, but she will also be pulling double duty here in the Vixens Wrestling Federation. And she's got a big test for her debut match here. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, she is no stranger to success. She's a former V, excuse me, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. She is a former EWE Siren Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you remember her from CAW Destiny 4 a couple of years ago. She, oh my, as you see Ray Hino with a huge high risk maneuver there. X-23 and Kasumi Toto wrestled what was arguably the most brutal match in CAW history, risking life and limb. I mean, the two nearly killed each other. So, X-23, very well known, not only uh, around uh, the CAW Underground Universe, but also on YouTube as well. And ladies and gentlemen, you can find that event. What an event it was, CAW Destiny 4 in 2009. What a show it was, ladies and gentlemen. But X-23 is not one to rely on past success. She is all about the here and now. And right now she's taking it to Ray Hino. Oh my. X-23, of course, as a longtime veteran of EWE, She's not exactly a technical wrestler because in that league, technical wrestling got you nowhere. 
X-23 is intense. She is in your face. A cover here, too. Oh, my. X-23 almost got her with that scorpion death drop. X-23 still on the offensive. Off the ropes comes Rayhino. Going for an atomic drop, but it's countered into a bulldog beautifully by Ray Hino. Oh, my. And measured her for a drop kick right there. Into a senton splash. There you see on the outside, Makoto Kaino offering words of encouragement. Ray Hino with the advantage. X-23 off the ropes. Beautiful Hurricane Rana. Well executed by Ray Hino. And right now, X-23 is in trouble. She can't be looking ahead to her XWD debut. She's got to worry about getting off to a good start here in the Vixens Wrestling Federation. Ladies and gentlemen, VWF is truly the league that is one click away from its audience. Ladies and gentlemen, you can find us on Twitter under the hashtag VWF Wrestling. You can find us on Facebook. Just search us out. Ladies and gentlemen, as far as fan interactivity, you will not find a more progressive CAW League than the VWF, the Vixens Wrestling Federation. Give us a click today, ladies and gentlemen. We are one click away. X-23 now, now taking Ray Hino to Suplex City, as Gorilla Monsoon could famously say. Two count right there off of that suplex. Ladies and gentlemen, what a big card we've got coming up for you tonight. Abdallah bin Laden, of course, making her in-ring debut as you see a nice arm drag takedown from the former EWE Siren champion. Now X-23 measures her from the top and nails her. High risk maneuver there, but oh my, X-23 may have landed wrong because Ray Hino, even though she was the one getting attacked, she was the first one up. Now X-23 in trouble in the corner. Ray Hino setting her up. Oh my, a Frankensteiner from the top rope. And now Ray Hino going to take another chance. X-23 is in trouble. Ray Hino leaps. Oh my, Hurricane Rana from the other side of the ring. These fans on their feet. Hook of the leg. One. And only a one count. Also, ladies and gentlemen, you will see Dixie Clements and Reiko Hinamoto in action. And ladies and gentlemen, of course, the main event of the evening, non-title match. The new and first ever VWF champion, Aerith Gainsborough, takes on longtime rival, Lindsay Lohan. X-23 on the outside now, getting back to the uh, mask. Excuse, excuse me, task at hand. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the action's so intense, I'm getting tongue-tied. X-23 now. Oh, my, didn't like something the referee said to her, and he got cleared out, and then she got cleared out. Rahina leaps and scores. Leaps from the top rope and nails her on the outside. Oh, my. X-23 fired back in. Her EWE style, if you will, is such a stark contrast to the way that all of these VWF divas wrestle. Rayhino leaps again and got her. That top rope's been kind to Rayhino. She goes back up and hits a frog splash. Right now, she is tearing apart the former EWE Siren champion. X-23 in a lot of trouble. Ray Hino with another Hurricane Rana. And ladies and gentlemen, a lot of these VWF fans are former NGW fans. Everyone remembers the famous rivalry, if you will, between NGW and EWE. A no love lost between the two leagues. And now Ray Hino. Oh, my. What a move that was. Leaps and catches her. Oh, my. And that's 619 there. Ray Hino setting her up for the rolling mandala. The rolling mandala. X-23 is out. Pulls her to the center of the ring. Lateral press. One, two. She got her. And Ray Hino has defeated a former champion. Big win for Ray Hino here. And ladies and gentlemen, I just have to wonder. After such an impressive return at the third annual Rose Knight Diva Invitational, I just wonder if X-23's heart just was not in it tonight. That's such a high to come off of. 
and perhaps she would, may have been looking past Ray Hino. But you can't do that here in the VWF. And Ray Hino makes her pay. And she and Makoto kind of celebrate in the ring. And you're taking a look at the replays right now, ladies and gentlemen. X23 was game, but she just seemed a little bit off her element, perhaps a little bit rusty. Her return was in a mixed gender tag team match. This was her first singles match in over a year. And ladies and gentlemen, the ring rust was apparent. But as it stands, it's a big win for Ray Hino. And she gets to make a big statement. After that exchange she and Makoto had with Frederick James Francis on last week's episode of Nitro. Let's take you to the ring. Oh my, that is shocking news indeed. Already our first confirmed match for Retribution, and it will be a Queen of the Mountain match. And when it will involve Ray Hino and Makoto Kaino with four other women to come. Ladies and gentlemen, the possibilities are endless, and I'm sure that's going to be a terrific match at our first ever click per view here in VWF. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, moving on to some to our second match of the night, excuse me. There you see Abdallah Bin Laden, the newcomer here in the Vixens Wrestling Federation. And she is making her in-ring debut tonight. And there you see her disciple, if you will. I'm talking about former NGW Women's Champion Lindsay Lohan. And she will be at ringside as Abdallah makes her debut. Ladies and gentlemen, right now we don't know who that uh, her opponent will be, but she says it promises to be a weaker opponent than the BWF champion Aerith Gainsborough. But uh, that remains to be seen, ladies and gentlemen. Anxious to see what Abdallah Bidlon can do. And that is familiar music. So much for having a quote-unquote weaker opponent because you're talking about a woman that has that was with NGW from its very beginnings. A seasoned veteran here in the CAW world. The only female to ever compete in no DQ CAW. I am of course talking about the Tomb Raider, Lara Croft, making her VWF debut tonight. So ladies and gentlemen, this one's really been a night of debuts so far. I mean, we've seen the first VWF matches for Ray Hino, X-23, Abdallah Bin Laden, and now the Tomb Raider, Lara Croft, truly a night of debuts. So, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see here what the newcomer, Abdallah Bin Laden, can do. She certainly seems to talk a good game, but let's see if she can back it up in the ring. And now you see this sold-out crowd here at the VWF Arena looking on. And, oh my, showing their disdain 
for Abdallah bin Laden. Oh, my. Nice power display there from Abdallah. Oh, my, but Lara Croft comes back, flipping her over the ropes. And there you see over on the side, over on the left side of your screen, Lindsay Lohan looking on with anticipation here. A new alliance has been formed between Abdallah bin Laden and Lindsay. Remains to be seen where it will lead. Oh, my. And there, Abdallah bin Laden just tosses Lara Croft across the ring. Abdallah with Lara Croft. Fires her into the turnbuckle, face first. Oh, my, winding her up. Oh, my, and just tossing her into the ring post at about 100 miles an hour. And now a nice fall away slam. Shades of Scott Hall. Did you see the elevation? How far she tossed Lara Croft. Oh my, Abdallah bin Laden is obviously a very strong, physically gifted individual. And now with control on Lara Croft, she's going to work on the longtime veteran here. And Abdallah bin Laden, perhaps praising Allah right now in the ring. Praising Allah. I mean, you talk about an extremist. You talk about a very controversial athlete. I mean, you're talking about Abdallah bin Laden. Not afraid to make her controversial opinions known. Oh, my. Nearly decapitating clothesline there. Laura Croft was finally starting to get into this match, but Abdallah bin Laden halts her momentum in a hurry. And look at this. Just, I mean, just, just slamming her head into that unforgiving canvas. This one has been all Abdallah so far. Inverted DDT. Hook of the leg. One, two. No, Laura Croft finds a way to kick out. She's got to do something to turn the tides in this match. She's getting dominated right now. Laura with a hammer lock there. Trying to get something going against Abdallah bin Laden. Nice drop kick. That'll certainly even the odds. Lara Croft over the ropes now, and a nice elbow drop. Into a bulldog. She nailed that one. Oh my, an elbow strike there. Now stopping away. She's got the newcomer down. Lara, nice hip toss. And Lara Croft now finally with control for the first time in this match. And now, oh my, standing moonsault connects. Hook of the leg. One, two, oh my, almost got her. Almost got her. Bin Laden now on the ropes. Lara Croft trying to press the advantage. Irish whip, Abdallah Bin Laden off the ropes. Lara nails her with the head scissors. Nicely done there. Laura Croft firing her into the ropes. And now going to give her a taste of her own medicine. Got her. Oh, my. That is a career-shortening move there. And a nice snap suplex to follow. Laura Croft not giving her any breathing room right now. Hook of the leg. Two. Didn't get her. Abdallah bin Laden off the ropes into another hip toss. The Tomb Raider, Lara Croft, on the top row, measures her, leaps, and misses with a moonsault. Telegraphed that one, and Abdallah bin Laden was able to dodge it. And now going right back to that, I mean, just slamming Lara Croft's head on the canvas. Picking her up now, Colorado no bow tie up, fires her into the ropes face first. Abdallah now. Setting her up on the top rope. Perhaps a superplex coming up. There it is, and got her! A textbook superplex. Oh my, that'll just take the wind out of you in a hurry. And now Abdallah bin Laden going to a different portion of the body. Just completely working Lara Croft over here, slowly wearing her down. Another power display. Another beautiful fall away slam. 
Lindsay Lohan seems to be keeping a perimeter of that squared circle. She started on one side and has worked her way to the other. So far, she's not interjected herself in this match, but hasn't needed to. Adala now. Back into the turnbuckle goes Laura Croft. Now, setting her up again into the tree of woe. This is never a good thing. Abdallah Bin Laden now seemingly licking her chops. I mean, she seems to be enjoying dealing out this punishment to the veteran, Laura Croft. She knows she's got her down, and right now she's content to continue the punishment. Big right hand into an STO. And as you can see, Abdallah Bin Laden in no hurry to end this match. Oh, my. She nearly walked into a mistake there. Oh, my. She could have just dislocated Laura Croft's arm. Could have just pulled her shoulder bone right out of the socket. And now setting her up for the WMD. Abdallah Bin Laden just turned off the lights. Laura Croft is going to be taking a nap. Abdullah Bin Laden is your winner in her VWF debut. I mean, very seldomly was this match in doubt. Laura Croft got in a little bit of offense, tried to turn the tides, but for two thirds of this match, it was all Abdullah Bin Laden. And that was no weak opponent that she just put away. Impressive showing for Lindsay Lohan's new teacher, new mentor, if you will. And oh my, Abdallah Bin Laden and Lindsay Lohan may be on a path of destruction here in VWF. Abdallah Bin Laden shows that she can back it up in the ring here. Ladies and gentlemen, you know the rest of the Vixen's Wrestling Federation roster has to be on notice for this pair. A successful debut for Abdallah Bin Laden. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take you to the back. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back for a big tag team contest. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. A big tag team match coming your way now. And there you see Dixie Clements, the three count cowgirl. Texas's favorite daughter. And she will be teaming up with the woman who made her VWF debut last week. I'm talking about Reiko Hinamoto. And this match will go a long way into helping sort out the tag team ranks here in VWF. Who will be the first team to earn the right to earn number one contendership against the active reigning and defending VWF tag team champions, Team G4, Morgan Webb and Olivia Munn. 
Dixie Clements and Reiko Hinamoto were definitely impressive last week against Haruka and Michinu. And they look to continue that momentum tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, before we went on the air, I was told by Dixie and Reiko that they are going by their old Rumble Roses tag team name, which is Tequila Sunrise. And ladies and gentlemen, Tequila Sunrise looks to make a big impression here because they are taking on two women who are former champions in NGW. Reiko Hinamoto certainly looks ready. She came in from out of nowhere as Dixie Clements' partner last week. And boy, they sure were impressive. And here comes the first half of the team they will be taking on here tonight on the second episode of BWF Monday Nitro. Back in its original allotted time slot. Back on its native Monday nights. There you see Renoa Hartilly, a former champion in New Gen Wrestling. Renoa Hartilly, of course, a veteran here in the CAW world. She's been around for close to six years now. She's been around since the very beginning of NGW. And she is making her VWF debut tonight. Night of debut, certainly, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, it's always so important. It's so big in your debut anywhere in any league to make that big first impression, to put the rest of the roster on notice, to put the rest of the CAW world itself on notice. And now her tag team partner making her way down the aisle. I am talking, of course about the woman who was taking NGW by storm until it ended. I am talking about Sakura Haruno. Sakura Haruno certainly was a force in NGW and she looks to continue to be a force here in the Vixens Wrestling Federation. And another spectacular tag team has seemingly been formed here, Sakura and her partner, Renoa Hartilly, look to stop the forward momentum of Tequila Sunrise, Dixie Clements, and Reiko Hinamoto. Four big stars make up this tag team match. And you know, wherever they are, Team G4 has to be looking on because the new number one contenders could emerge from this match. Bell's gone, we are underway. Reiko Hinamoto starting out with Sakura Haruno. Sakura now. These two chain wrestling, getting a feel for one another. Reiko with an arm bar, oh my, but a kick to the midsection. Oh my, a drop kick misses from Sakura. And Renoa Hartilly right there, taking a cheap shot. Spinning heel kick from Sakura. Sakura Haruno now with control over Reiko Hinamoto. Reiko though, with an Irish whip. Oh my, Renoa Hartilly interjects herself again. She's got Reiko. Reiko's helpless right now. Oh my, a huge knee to the midsection. Come on, referee. Referee's gonna have his hands full in this one. And Sakura tags in Renoa Hartilly. Renoa with Reiko. Reiko's in enemy territory right now. Dixie Clements can only look on. Reiko trying to fight her way back. Reiko, standing moonsault connects. A second one connects. And so, and excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Reiko right now with some control on Renoa Hartilly. And a huge Jake Roberts style DDT. That'll turn the lights out in a hurry. And now Reiko Hinamoto, that's the experience for you. Pulling Renoa Hartilly back into friendly territory. She makes the tag to Dix Dixie Clements. Double team maneuver, double arm drag. And a double kip up there. Dixie Clements and Reiko Hinamoto. Their friendship, their history as a tag team goes way back. Dixie with a hook of the leg. And only a one count before Sakura Haruno interferes. Like I said, the referee's gonna have a hard time keeping all four of these women in check. I mean, each of these four ladies are fiery competitors. They will do anything they can 
to try and come out on top. And once again, momentum has swung. Now, Renella Hartel, he's got control on the three count cowgirl, Dixie Clements. Oh my, and a huge clubbing blow there. And oh my, a clothesline to the back of Dixie's head. Dixie had no way to cover up on that one. Now, fired into the buckle. Renoa makes the tag to Sakura Haruno. Another double team maneuver coming up. Sakura getting ahead of steam. Oh my, poetry in motion right there. Shades of Matt and Jeff Hardy. Nice athletic move from Sakura. Hooks the leg, two. And Reiko Hinamoto interrupts just in the nick of time. Sakura Haruno really had Dixie Clements right where she wanted her. Right now, oh my, as you see a nice Samoan drop there from Dixie Clements. The team of Te Tequila Sunrise has all of the momentum here. They scored a huge win over uh, Haruka and Michiru last week. And you're talking about these two women beating former women's tag team champions in NGW. Dixie Clements right now with control over Sakura Haruno and just going to work here. Lateral press, one, two, didn't get her. Did not get her, match continues. Sakura fired into the buckle, head first. Oh my, and just tossed into that ring post, that steel ring post, and a belly to belly suplex. Renoa Hartilly right now, getting a little bit impatient, trying to encourage her partner, Sakura Haruno, to come over and make the tag. Sakura right now in a lot of trouble as she eats another belly to belly. Dixie, completely in control, fires her into the buckle. Another double team perhaps coming up here. Off the ropes goes Sakura, drop toe hold into an elbow drop. I mean, just so much chemistry here between Reiko Hinamoto and Dixie and only a two count right there. What teamwork the two former Rumble Roses wrestlers uh, exude here. Reiko, Northern Lights suplex. Sakura trying to reach the ropes with her feet and kicks out at two. Reiko Hinamoto with control, but a go behind from Sakura. Sakura now with Reiko, fires her into the buckle. Renault has got to come over so that Sakura can make a tag. Monkey flip there from Sakura. Sakura needs to make a tag, but right now she thinks she's feeling it. Leaps and misses with a martial arts kick and walks right into a head scissors. That just goes to show you right there, ladies and gentlemen, perhaps a little bit of a lack of continuity on the part of Sakura and Renoa. As you see Reiko nail a moonsault from the top. That goes to show you Reiko. And Dixie have the chemistry where Sakura and Renoa do not yet. Sakura and Renoa just have not been a team long enough to get that kind of chemistry. Dixie, oh my, dropping Sakura onto the canvas. Reiko cleared out Renoa, two, it's over. Dixie Clements hits the Dixie cutter off camera, ladies and gentlemen, but from my vantage point, it was a devastating maneuver. And Sakura Haruno ends up paying the price for not tagging in Renoa Hartilly when she had the chance. And Tequila Sunrise are your winners. And there you see, looking on from the back, that was Haruka and Michiru, who were torn apart by Dixie and Reiko last week. Dominated by this team of Tequila Sunrise. And ladies and gentlemen, they, they looked like they were uh, on the way out here. Oh my, I think they just stopped to confer. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm, I'm getting something in my headset. Yes, we are, we are taking you to the back right now where Danica Patrick has jumped the VWF Hardcore Champion, Mickey James. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, you remember last week, these two wrestled for the VWF Hardcore title to crown the first ever champion. And Mickey James was able to defeat Danica Patrick. Danica, of course, was just content to punish Mickey in that match. And Mickey made her pay for it. 
Mickey right now. Oh my. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, the VWF Hardcore title is competed under... Excuse me. Competed under hardcore rules, under 24-7 rules. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> oh, I'm having a hard time just keeping my breath here. The action of VWF is so intense, ladies and gentlemen, I can hardly keep up with it. And I have been in CAW for the better part of seven years. Ladies and gentlemen, what a league this is. As you see, Mickey James nailed the chick kick. And right now, Danica Patrick may be wishing that she never jumped Mickey. Mickey James now, the hardcore champion with Danica. Danica fighting back, oh my. And ladies and gentlemen, as much as I would love to see uh, some VWF officials get out here and break this up, uh, they, they have no authority to break this up. This is a VWF uh, hardcore title match. As Mickey, oh my, comes crashing into one of those cameras. And there you can see the area in which we conduct promos here in the Vixens Wrestling Federation. Danica with a chair. Oh my, swung it and missed. That would have taken Mickey's head off. Danica Patrick now with Mickey. No, Mickey back in it. Oh, my. And a, just a rake of the back right there. And Danica. Oh, my. Throws her into a huge box right there. Oh, my. And just crashes her head. You can hear Mickey James's skull crashing down on that large crate. And Danica now. Going for a weapon. She's got that chair again. This doesn't bode well for the champion. Danica. Just hammering away on the VWF Hardcore Champion. Mickey James is in a lot of trouble. Definitely in, I mean, definitely in trouble. And I just wonder if Mickey can feel that VWF Hardcore title slipping away. I mean, anything goes here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my. Danica. With control. These two women just barred. I mean, just no holds barred here. I mean, a chair shot is as legal as a hammer lock. Oh, my. And just crashing that trash can, that steel trash can, onto the body of Mickey James. And Mickey is in a lot of trouble here. Ladies and gentlemen, just you can hear an ominous quiet in the backstage area. Oh my! Spinebuster through that trash can, and ladies and gentlemen, Danica Patrick is your new BWF Hardcore Champion by way of knockout. A new champion crown here tonight on Nitro. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the main event of the evening Lindsay Lohan former NGW Women's Champion taking on the first ever VWF Champion, Aerith Gainsborough. And what a match this is going to be, ladies and gentlemen. It is your main event of the evening. And listen to these fans as Lindsay comes out here. The new student of Abdallah Bin Laden and you can see Abdallah looking on from the backstage area. Definitely with a bird's eye view of the action here. As Lindsay makes her way down the aisle. Ladies and gentlemen, keep in mind this is a non-title match. Aerith Gainsborough's VWF Championship is not on the line here. But Lindsay, nonetheless, has a chance to make a big statement here in VWF. This will be her first VWF match. She was not part of the championship scramble last week, but she had no one to blame but herself. She came out here, interrupting Frederick James Francis on the first episode of VWF Nitro. And for her troubles, she got arrested and was escorted out of the arena, but somehow managed to sneak her way back in and sneak attack the new VWF champion, Aerith Gainsborough, after a grueling match in the championship scramble. 
And ladies and gentlemen, that's on top of the rivalry between these two that just never really seemed to end in new gen wrestling. I mean, you can go back. You can go back as far as 2006, ladies and gentlemen, to see these two women duking it out. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it will be their first match against one another here in BWF. The rivalry continues, ladies and gentlemen. Bad blood never truly goes away. And this match, ladies and gentlemen, I think will prove that. There you see the VWF champion, Aerith Gainsborough. The VWF arena on its feet. The sellout crowd. Definitely showing support for the new champion. Aerith Gainsborough, a fighting champion. I'm sure that if Lindsay and Abdullah bin Laden had demanded it, I'm sure Aerith Gainsborough would have gladly put the VWF title on the line. That's just the kind of competitor she is. Bell's gone and we are underway and Lindsay wasted no time. Aerith Gainsborough didn't even have a chance to uh, hand one of the VWF officials her title belt. And right now, Lindsay going to work. Oh my, tried to drop Aerith on that steel guardrail. But Aerith managed to slip away. These two battling on the outside in front of the fans. Aerith drops her face first on that steel barricade. Oh my. And a Hurricane Rana onto that unforgiving concrete. Referee's count already up to six. Aerith leaps and catches her. A death-defying move there from the VWF champion. And she is showing you firsthand right now why she deserves that title around her waist. Referees count up to nine now. A 20 count to work with, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my, and Lindsay is met right on the edge of the apron with a suplex. Ladies and gentlemen, Aerith Gainsborough, what a champion she is. I mean, she was a wonderful final champion for New Gen Wrestling, and, it, and she is a wonderful first ever VWF champion in this new league, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, she works so hard. I mean, she is a, has been wrestling since 2004, ladies and gentlemen, ever since the very beginnings of NGW. Worked so hard to obtain the success that she has obtained to this day. I mean, just such an accomplished athlete. A former Internet Vixens champion. Waited, waited about five years to finally claim her first true women's title when she won the NGW Women's Championship. And ladies and gentlemen, while I've been talking, Lindsay Lohan has been solidly in charge, seemingly content to just punish Aerith right now. Like I said, these two women have a lot of history with one another, and bad blood never truly goes away. They say that blood is thicker than water, and I assume, ladies and gentlemen, that goes for bad blood. And Aerith Gainsborough right now just getting punished. She was fired into those steel steps. And Lindsay right now just taking her apart. Lindsay Lohan, a former NGW Women's Champion in her own right. A flashback right there onto the concrete. And oh my, ladies and gentlemen, Lindsay clearing off the Spanish announce table. This does not bode well for the VWF champion. Aerith is set up, perched on that table. Lindsay on, in, on the top rope, leaves and misses. Aerith Gainsborough was playing possum. Aerith played possum there. And Lindsay went through the table. And that was about a 20 foot fall. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. And oh my, referee got involved and he paid the price. Aerith was trying to suplex Lindsay, but the referee stepped in the way and got cleared out. Lindsay tried to capitalize with a shoulder tackle, sending Aerith to the outside, but Aerith now. Now looking to deliver the move she intended to, to, to deliver all along with that Hurricane Rana. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been so tongue-tied tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please forgive me. 
the action has just been too fast and furious to call. Aerith with a clothesline in the corner. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this is a non-title match. But as you can see, the way that Aerith is competing, she brings it all 110% whether the title is on the line or not. She treats every match like her last. And that is why she is the VWF champion. Lindsay fired into the ropes. Aerith setting her up. Aerith perching her on the top rope. Oh my, but Lindsay with a kick. Lindsay leaps from the top and nails a blockbuster. A blockbuster there, and that, that should be it. The cover, one, two, and didn't get her. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to imagine, even though this is non-title, if Lindsay can come up with a win here, that will put her on the short list for a VWF title shot. And ladies and gentlemen, that's what it's all about. The grandest prize in the Vixens Wrestling Federation is that VWF championship. Aerith is truly a marked woman here. Lindsay now with control. Measures her, leaps from the top, and nails a leg drop onto the back of Aerith's head. Aerith may very well have a concussion. One, two, three, she got her. No, 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 no. The referee signaling she didn't. Oh, boy, that's a judgment call there from the official. I thought Lindsay Lohan scored the three count. But that's, that, that truly is a judgment call on the official's part, and he is saying it was only a two. Lindsay, though, staying on the offensive, showing you that experience, showing you why. She is a former NGW Women's Champion. But Aerith there, nice technical wrestling with that arm bar. Aerith now picking up Lindsay. But Lindsay catches her with a victory roll. One! And only a one count. Lindsay, though, I mean, just... I mean, she seems more focused and more intense than I've ever seen her. You can already see Abdullah bin Laden's influence showing in the demeanor of Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay off the ropes. Five-knuckle shuffle. The five-knuckle shuffle. And Lindsay now setting her up. Here it comes. The F-U-B, F-U-B, and that'll end it. Lindsay has won this match, but, but she's not going for the cover. She's, she's not going for the cover, and oh my, that could be a mistake she's going to re regret for a long time. And Aerith looking to make her pay here. Aerith is exhausted, she's hurt. She just took Lindsay's best move, and now she's trying to work her way back in it. That Hurricane Rana will help. Aerith's got to do something here. She's been getting dominated by Lindsay. Oh, my, with a thumb to the eye there with Lindsay. Lindsay not afraid to cut corners. And that set her up for that beautiful DDT you just saw. Lindsay taunting the champion here. Lindsay right now. Feeling really good about herself. And a shoulder tackle. Shades of the Ultimate Warrior. Lindsay now. What's she going to do now? Ladies and gentlemen, perhaps Lindsay is looking not just to defeat Aerith, perhaps she's looking to submit her with her trademark STFUB. Perhaps looking to embarrass the champion here by making her tap out. Lindsay. Oh, my. Rumor sphere. But Aerith is right back up. Aerith right now. I don't know how she did that. A kip up from the rumor sphere. And Lindsay can't believe it. And quite frankly, neither can I. Where is Aerith getting this? Aerith. With Lindsay. Nails the great gospel. Lindsay dropped right on her head. But Aerith is not done. The cover, one, two, no! No, Lindsay kicks out from the great gospel. I can't believe it. 
first Aerith kip ups from the FUB and now Lindsay has kicked out of the great gospel what is it gonna take ladies and gentlemen it's a shame this isn't a title match these two ladies have gone at it like everything is at stake a championship caliber match on the part of both competitors they are showing you firsthand what top-notch VWF action is all about. There's nothing like VWF action, ladies and gentlemen. And we are so glad that you can be a part of it. And Aerith nails a head scissors there. These two, I mean, this has just become a brawl. This is an old-fashioned backyard brawl. Lindsay now trying to follow up that DDT. Aerith stumbles to her feet. You can just see. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, this will just add just another moment to the seemingly eternal rivalry between Lindsay Lohan and Aerith Gainsborough. Small package from Aerith. Caught Lindsay off guard. Two, three, she got her. It's over. And Aerith. The VWF champion has defeated Lindsay with the small package. Lindsay absolutely did not see it coming. Lindsay let her guard down for just one split second. But it was all that the first ever VWF champion needed. And oh no. Oh my God, look out! Look out! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my God! Abdallah bin Laden with a cheap shot with that steel pipe. Oh my God. But now look, Tiffa and Ami. Tiffa Lockhart and Ami Mizuno have cleared the ring. Oh my, they just barely saved Aerith from what could have been a career ending beatdown. And look now, here comes Frederick James Francis. He's had enough. Oh my, ladies and gentlemen, TXA reunites one night only as they take on the team of Abdullah Bin Laden and Lindsay Lohan. What a barn burner that's going to be. Oh my, ladies and gentlemen. See you next week indeed. Frederick James Francis drops a bombshell ladies and gentlemen that's all the time we've got i'm isaac good night god bless and ladies and gentlemen a killer main event for next week txa is back